Welcome to Jurassic Park. Na, 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 na. And by Jurassic Park, I mean the Fukui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum, which we'll be heading to as part of our Fukui trip. Hello, Mr. Albino T-Rex. We're in front of this bad boy and it's just about a couple hundred meters away from the museum. Pretty cool statue that you can come check out right before or after you visit the museum. And time for the Dino Museum. Okay, just kidding. Not that dinosaur museum, but this one. This place is actually super large. It's a lot bigger than we expected. 90% of people cosplay this in Halloween. Look at his shoes. They're so big. So you're a fan of Demon Slayer too, huh? We finally arrived at the Dinosaur Museum and we are so hungry and rushing the restaurant. It's a dinosaur themed restaurant and then look at the menu. It's all about dinosaur. So cute. So we ordered the kids menu. Even though we don't really want to eat this, we think it looked kind of cute and fun. So looks like a T-Rex head spewing out french fries. <laughs> Let me open it. <laughs> it's a shovel. I'm gonna excavate the fossil. Gosh. I found an egg in my own rice. So we got the, the burger as well, which is the shape of a T-Rex track. Kind of disappointed though that the chicken nuggets aren't shaped like dinosaurs. Feels like a pretty big missed opportunity for them. The taste is kind of average, but this is fun dinosaur it's shapes. Right. It's all about the creativity. Yeah. All right, we just finished lunch and now we're about to head into the exhibit. T-Rex is so scary, but look at his little hands, so short, kind of cute. There's so many cool dinosaur skeletons they have on display here. Most of these are obviously fake because you usually don't find the entire skeleton when you find the fossils. But every now and then there's a couple bones and fossils that are the actual real things. The little boy in me is so excited to see all these life-size dinosaur skeletons, even though if they're fake. As a kid, I love dinosaurs. And so when we heard about this museum, we were always interested in coming here, but it was kind of hard to get to since it's so far out and kind of in the middle of nowhere. Dinosaur, Triceratops. Finally made it to all the dinosaurs that were discovered in the Fukui area. They've actually named this Fukui Saurus, or this one's the Fukui Raptor. Pretty awesome that they've actually discovered so many different dinosaur species here in the Fukui area. See here, there's these giant bones that belong to what they call the Fukui Titan. These are actual fossils that they're letting us touch. Not sure why, maybe because they're pretty common fossils. My weight is similar to a deer. And if I want to compare with, say, T-Rex, and it's 173 times of my weight. <laughs> and my weight is more than Dee Dee's by a little bit. And compared to the T-Rex, 114 times compared to the T-Rex. So many of you may be wondering why of all places is there a dinosaur museum here in Fukui? We were definitely wondering the same thing. And it turns out that in Fukui, they discovered many fossils in this area. And so from those fossils, they actually discovered many new species of dinosaurs. And from those, they ended up even naming these dinosaurs after Fukui. 
So from that, you have like the Fukui Saurus, the Fukui Raptor, the Fukui Titan. I think it's super awesome that they were able to name their own dinosaur species because they were the first to discover them. Because of the discovery, Fukui has become a pretty big excavation site where every year they're constantly discovering more and more fossils in this area. Finish exploring the museum, but before we leave, I'm gonna go check out the Dino Store. I really hope they came up with this name intentionally as a pun and not accidentally. And that's a wrap of the Dinosaur Museum. Thanks again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for our next video where we'll be exploring the rest of Fukui and Japan's countryside.